This video is mute, meaning there is no background music. I encourage you to fill the void with your own content, if you so require. Safe travels. End of message. Well, hiker, this is the spot right there where we stayed overnight. And this is the road right there that leads to this hell of a road where we messed up our tire. This is the spur. Now we're going to Salman, but I don't know uh, if I'm going to spend there too much time, if I'm actually going to vlog there. Because priority for me right now is to go and buy new tires and the nearest place to do this is Kingman. And we need to buy at least a pair of tires so that these tires will remain there. We have a pair of tires, new pair of tires uh, for, uh, for the rear. That's the only way, unless they're going to recommend to replace all the tires, but I don't think that's necessary. The front tires are good. It's good that I rotated them, because then it will be far worse. So at least the tire that got messed up was the one that was already used up because it was in the front and the, used, and the front tires always get, get worn out much quicker than the rear ones. Even though it would seem different, but they not only rotate, they also turn and this creates that they chip off and wear, wear off uh, far quicker than the rear ones. So these are from the rear and these are good. I'm only buying tires for the back. Alright, so let's do this. Let's go. Let's leave this place. We are approaching Ashford, Arizona and it's unbelievable that all this time we were so close to it and instead of going straight on the highway, we took the turn of doom. Well, what can I say? Life. What life would be without an element of adventure and sheer stupidity, right? So Hiker will be driving over the actual Route 66, the actual road, this is it, starts here and leads all the way to Seligman and I think we've already driven the actual piece of 66 but it was back in Texas but then, back then I wasn't sure if this is actually it but the here is official. There's the there's the interstate uh, 40 which goes along the route 66 and overshadows it and here's the actual route so we're gonna ride over a piece of history here all right let's do this every single town that sits along route 66 has got a piece of the actual route in it. Since it ran through the centers of those towns, it has remained there to this day. The centers are pretty much the only places where you can still witness and actually drive the original route. <laughs> 
but after you're done driving them, you typically have no choice but go back to Interstate 40. Ashford is a perfect example of this. As soon we will have to enter the interstate, just to drive it for several miles and then exit it again for Seriman. But there are some exceptions to this. Apparently you can drive the original 66 through most of Oklahoma. Huh. I also mentioned this in one of my earlier videos, Exploration Brick 34, when we enter into New Mexico. I talked there some more about American routes while exploring the grounds of an abandoned gas station. Coming back to our exceptions. It so happens that another one is right here in Arizona. Water towers. Always like the water towers. And once again, it so happens that we are right in the place to be. Seliman gives access to a perfect stretch of the original Route 66 outside of city limits. The town's supposed to be interesting in itself, so two birds with a single stone. Let's get it! funny that going west it means it, this means you go to Los Angeles because this is the furthest point in the west I mean I don't know maybe not the furthest but but it's one of the main places in the west one of the most further places in the west and frequent places in the west Look how cool this road is, and this is the actual Route 66. There's like 
actual gate leading to this section. America's Byways. Arizona Historic Route 66. Notice the red signs posted along the highway. If you read them, they're gonna tell you a story. And the last of them gives you the so-called moral of the story. This is an interesting, but also kind of funny American phenomenon, which is typically used for advertising, but also for pushing ideologies. As you may know or don't know, Americans love ideologies, and they are quite keen on manifesting them. Bumper stickers, baseball caps, shirts, blouses, tattoos, Hell, even belt buckles, just to name a few. And then there are the road signs. They can even go for miles just to capture your attention and to make you read. But obviously it's always best to keep your eyes on the road, as all you need is a split second for things to go south. Talking from my own experience. But it is an interesting cultural phenomenon, and I sort of got into it myself if you look at the back of my trailer. That's not during the time of recording though, it's closer to the time of publishing this video.
this. This is the actual, actual Route 66. Look at this tarmac. We are touching history here. Look at this. Wow. That's incredible. This is, this is what it is actually. Incredible. So first, it was this, then I guess they made this road that we are uh, driving on, and eventually they put the, the, the uh, interstate. That's seriously, wow. Super old guardrail. Looks this way. Wow, that's awesome. And here's the. Should we enter it? I wonder. Should we go ahead and go there? Look at this. That's climatic. The trucks, railroad trucks. Okay, so this is a bridge. This is the original bridge. We are touching history right now. Wow. I love something like this. That's truly awesome. Look at the rails. Painting someone made, and it's just recent. Look at this! All this. It's almost like Mad Max. That's nuts. And the rail. This is the actual uh, guardrail from that time. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this road. This is what will happen with all the everything it will be like abandoned and, le and left for uh, left for nature. This is what happens. Nature claims everything eventually. There's no other way. Because this world exists for the natural beauty, not for what human created. This is a contemporary guard rail and there we got the and you can take a photo like this contemporary and the old <laughs> that's seriously wow it seems something so small something like 
but to me it really it really has got great significance to me it's a lot really to capture something like this it also looks really old so the route 66 it goes back to i don't know 20s or 6 or 30s or something like that and this bus go back probably to like 60s, 70s and then there was the I-40 slab tell me that it doesn't have its own ambience in itself as if it was taken from some totally different place all of a sudden it's also thanks to the graffiti there graffiti are cool especially if they are made the right way maybe I would pay some graffiti artists too if I would have some barn, some warehouse, some building, I don't know, just to paint all over it. <laughs> but this is cool, man. This is even better than all these buildings and everything. Once you get to a city or a town that the I, I, I mean, Route 66 uh, goes through. All these fancy buildings are cool, but this is this is the actual road. That's so amazing. Loving memory of Jerry D. I've been seeing these signs since New Mexico. There is nothing like this in, in Texas. Yabapai County. Alright. What is this? Try to cross. At first train near it. What? As fast as fast. Death didn't drop him. Seriously? He volunteered. And again finishes with the same thing. Burma shave. Really? Whatever. these electric poles that are like one is straight and another is like uh, uh, how do you say it? tilted it looks really cool <coughs> this looks a lot like a California view but we are very close to California Look at the road, that's so cool. 